Well, this is Croatia and uh, another long journey, but I'm here at Lake Shumba and uh, for this one I've actually driven through eight countries, which is even a record for me. I've done England, France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, Austria, Slovenia and then into Croatia to get here. So yeah, it's another long one, but it is a lovely place here. It's absolutely fantastic. It's one of uh, the up and coming big fish venues of the world for sure. So uh, yeah, many thanks to Ardy Veltkamp and Christoph Kuderman for inviting us here. Um, I was actually here about 12 years ago um, for a trip with Rob Hughes. We come down to do a, a carp match here and I fished on the other side on that occasion. There's a point on the other side. And well, we caught a few fish. There was a lot of fish in here then, uh, and still is. You know, we were catching sort of mainly uh, 20s to mid 30s, and there was a few 40s out. But of course, in the years in between, a lot of those fish have grown on, and there's some real whackers in here now. Um, hence, coming back, you know, it's a bit of a slog. Like I say, back then it was uh, Rob Hughes. This time I'm here with Tom Duncan Dunlop, good mate of mine. And uh, well, we've got just over a week, we've got nine days. And oh, it's an absolute roaster. There's a few storms during the week, but literally I'm sitting here and absolutely roasting already. So, uh, but by all accounts, the fish feed well in those conditions. Um, June, July, August have, have produced some really big hits of fish here. So, you know, hopefully it'll do the same. There's, lo there's loads out here and there's a few big ones as well. Um, you know, I've got high hopes for this trip and, uh, well, it'd just be nice to chill out and actually. Uh, take a break from the driving for a little while so uh, we'll see how it goes anyway but it's nice to be here Well, we're off the mark anyway. We've got one. It was a, a quiet couple of days. First first night was quiet. First day, and uh, we guess it wasn't worth putting any more bait out as such. So we didn't bait up yesterday. Just left them where they were and hoped that everything was still okay. And uh, sure enough, four o'clock this morning, it's gone off with the first one for us anyway. A nice uh, 33 pound common. And. Uh, there's been a couple of fish out. The guys next door had a nice one. Uh, post a 55 pound, another common. And a couple of fish, so, you know, a few swims are producing it. It's not fishing as well as they sort of expected it to so far. But things are happening, that's the main thing. So, there we go. That's, if he's gonna let me, I'm sure he's gonna be a little bit lively. First carp on a trip anyway. Yeah, not quite a faster start as what I was expecting, but we have made a start anyway, so there we go. First one. First of many hopefully. Well, it is absolutely roasting hot in the afternoon. One's just gone off out of the blue, frightened the life out of me. Oh, that's the little 
bit of breeze. She is. Not strong enough, is it? Well done, mate. <laughs> God, I'm so hot. <laughs> when you want one to just roll over and come in, uh, oh my funny. God. <laughs> well, what a battle that was. God, I'll tell you what, that was actually really hard work standing out there in the sun. 
but it was all worth it. God, what an absolutely gorgeous fish this is. Just a touch under 60 pound actually, 59.14. Couldn't be much closer. But it's a Croatian 50, so it is 50s from 10 countries, which was my dream really when I first knew that I was coming to Lake Shumba, but it's it's done me proud. And uh, well, we know what's going to happen here, don't we? But I'll do my best. Look at that, what a beast of a common. I was hoping to see one like this. And uh, I haven't had one for a couple of days. It's been quiet and I was seeing fish showing over the spots and wondering if I've got it right, really. Uh, and sure enough, in the hottest part of the day, off it's gone. Start of a mega battle. But uh, I just had to be patient, really. And sure enough, this was on the end. What a lovely fish. Well, 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 happy with that. Absolutely over the moon. <sighs> Job done. Oh, and the, the width for this fish is something else, but you'll have to take me word for that. <laughs> what a fish, eh? Almost 60 pound of Croatian common. That's what I come for, that's what I'm dreaming of, and I've got it. 50s from 10 countries. Oh, it is so hot, but I'm going to put you back there, darling. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Fantastic. Oh, well it's, it's literally so hot here. So I've had to just jump in the lake <laughs> and cool down a bit and it hasn't done much. The sweat is just pouring out of me today. But, uh, well, things have changed a little bit. You know, I had the first good fish and, and Tom had his first big fish on big bottom bait. So we stuck with those for a little while. But it's quite clear that the guys either side of us, they were getting more action than us. Uh, on little pop-ups basically. So I've changed over to a little hinge stiff rig which isn't something I use on the continent that much, you know, it's a, a sort of go-to rig for pop-ups at home. But I've stuck that on anyway and, uh, well, it's, it's worked very quick actually. Just a, a key cray pop-up. Uh, I've got some in 15s and in 20s. Um, the 15s are actually working. That one's been out a little while and swollen up a bit, so it's, it's just about right really. But there we go, yeah, the key cray pop-ups. A few broken... Uh, Wow, uh, key cray boilies and scopex squid. I'm just crushing those up, putting them over the spot with the spawn, and a few key cray pellets. God, that sweat is so hot, it's unbelievable. And then just casting one of these over the top, and uh, well, the reaction has been quite instant to it, so hopefully, we've still got plenty of time left, really, still three nights left. Um, might get a few more fish. You know, you never know with these places, it takes a little bit, it's our first trip here. I know I've been here once years ago but it's got not much bearing on how it is now. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, various methods will work. I'd like say the big baits worked, but I don't think they're the best method. I think the, the smaller baits or the pop-ups are the best method. So we're, we're going to change all rods over to them and uh, yeah, happy to see how that goes anyway. Hopefully with a bit of time left it'll get us a few more fish. Well this was a nice morning surprise, a little bit bigger than what I thought. I literally only just put the bait out there and uh, a couple of minutes and it went off. Which shows that the pop-ups are sort of working better than the big bottom baits really. But there we go, we found a, a clue with it anyway. But it's, it's a cracking fish, a lovely high back deep bodied mirror of, uh, well, 56 pound it was. Absolute beast of a fish. Look at that, what a lovely fish. They are absolute crackers, these fish. They go a lot bigger than this as well. 
but this will do for now. Yeah, I think we've got things going now. There's fish out there, they're feeding, and we found the right method. And there's lots of these out there. Absolutely cracking Croatian carp. Good stuff. I'm going to get this back. You wouldn't believe how hot it is here. It's so hot, I'm melting. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this one back. And uh, get that rod back out there. It has been a hectic few hours really. Um, no monsters today, but welcome action all the same. Oh shit, it? Again, isn't it? You do this and I'll do that. Right, we'll try again. Every time I uh, Got to do a bit of filming, <laughs> something happens. Normally a run actually. I just uh, was about to do this and same rod went off again actually with a common about 30 pound I suppose, something like that. 30, between 28 and sort of 32 but um, after a quiet night it's been a hectic morning, that's five now. And uh, all on the same rod as well. This was the, the pick of the bunch actually. 43 pound, lovely yellowy brownie mirror. Um, three commons, two mirrors actually. I mean they're lovely fish and all working. I know there's big ones out there, but um, well, it's nice to get something working. I've certainly got that rod working. And all on the pop-ups actually. Since I swapped over to pop-ups, certainly had more action. Uh, but also smaller fish, so who knows it. You know, it might be good in one way and not so good in another, but, you know, can't really complain at them sort of stamper fish, they're lovely fish. Whew. A little bit cooler than yesterday as well, just a little bit. Still sweats for a bit, but um, there we go, storm's due today, so that might cool it down, we'll see. But the fish are feeding anyway, so that's all that matters. Storm might have frightened the life out of Tom, but it's certainly got the fish going.
Despite the amount of activity, it was actually a little while before the run started to come, but sure enough, the next morning, we were both into action again. Nice morning by early morning. The coolest part of the day actually. Go. Fish. There we go, little hinge rig pop up, did the job. Here he is, not a big one. 20 pounder, 25 pound, got a nice common, nice start to the day anyway. Oh, lovely stuff. Well, that's two commons this morning, both sort of 20 to 30 pound. It's not worth getting them out for pictures and all that, so just let them recover in the sling for 10 minutes. As it's hot in this weather, it does help to actually leave them in the sling for 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, and uh, they go back a lot stronger. So there we go. He's been in there a little while, he can go now. Off you go, sunshine. There we go. Nice start to the day. Two commons in the space of about half hour there. Both about the same size, but obviously it's the bigger ones we want, but they are out there somewhere. You never know. Well, last day on the lake today. We leave tomorrow. And it's been quiet up until now. Quiet morning. Mornings have been good, but not this time. And yet this afternoon, had a funny little take a while ago, I've only just put this one back out. There was nothing on the end anyway. Tom's had a small one. And now this one, so a bit of afternoon action. We have certainly got into the little fish more and more as the trip's gone on the last few days. And we need to talk about catching possibly 150, 160 fish in a week here. And now that we're catching these, I can see why. But, um, oh, they're nice fish, whatever. I'll just get the map. These mats are all supplied at the lake, they're nice big ones anyway. In the mat first, this is quite important because these mats get absolutely 
red hot in the sun Can you imagine putting a, a fish straight on that is is no not going to do it any good whatsoever make sure his pecs are in and everything and he's nice and level and there we go just that's nice and cool for him there we are I mean this God, beautiful fish really absolutely beautiful just uh, not as big as we was <laughs> perhaps hoping but there we go A lovely lovely Croatian carp very nice all right let's put you back darling there we go there you go nice job done And so all good things have to come to an end and that was the same for this trip it was time to reel in pack up and start the long journey home again but it had been a great trip and we had made some new friends and uh, it was nice to meet up with old friends again and perhaps what was really nice about the trip everyone was catching fish and whenever anyone caught a big one everyone else was pleased for them and we'd go around and see the fish if possible so it was a good atmosphere a great lake and we had a great time so I'm looking forward to going back to Croatia another time next year perhaps and uh, maybe get some of those bigger fish that are in there but what a great trip it was